Let's go around that and look a bit better. Now I'm going to go back to my round brush here. And again, starting light. Going to add some foliage to these pots. Really, it's just a riot of colour and green. See now the picture's starting to come together as a picture now, isn't it? This has brightened it up. And there's a heck of a lot of work to do there yet. And the next stage of that is making the same colour up. Burnt sienna, alizarin crimson. Just making it darker. Wrong brush. Stick with me flat brush. Oh, look at that. I had a colour already on it. Sorry. Excuse me for that one. But you see, at this stage, we're really motoring now because I want to get washes on before washes dry so they run a little bit. It's not like oil where you can put a couple of dabs on and stand back. You've got to have the whole picture in mind really when you start. So now I'm just putting the same kind of strokes at random. Well, not particularly, they're not at random really, they're uh, where that tree's going to be, but they're darker, aren't they? I mean, you can put that into the green as well here, and that'll make nice colours in the shadows. She wants to be really dark. Oops. Yeah, I'm thinking. Let's get rid of that. I think I'm happy with the way that's going. I'm happy with this. A lot of work to be done on the foreground yet. So what I think I might do now, that's just drying a little bit too light. We'll probably have to darken that again. Happy with the lawn. Before uh, I go away, what I'll do is I'll just use, just show you a nice colour for the path. Just a little touch of alizarin, some blue. 
I just like this colour for a path. Looks particularly nice when um, when you put the shadows on. path goes back into there we can use that to darken the shadows there as well and there any areas you're not happy with the way it's drying you can just at this point you can just scumble them out but what we want to do here is what we call counter change this is in uh, full sun apart from obviously the the back part so to make that stand out really well we've masked it haven't we for starters and what we want to do is put some very dark color behind it so when the masking fl fluid comes off It'll be all the more visible. So I'll keep building that back with that colour up. And also now we've got this dark green, you can start just making some stems. If you say this is dry, really nice, orangey some of it's going to be sharp because where we when we take the masking off we'll do some of the leaves perfect you know to look like leaves and of course there's not as much dark green here because uh, it's in full sun apart from down to this area Right, so uh, again, it's a case of now letting that dry and then we'll put the next washers on. Maybe start putting a little bit of detail in. Uh, so I'll see you shortly. Uh, 